Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Ask Pastor Sharon. Hey, I've got a question today, another dating question, and it comes from Ashley, and she says, I am in love with a married man. Mm -mm -mm. We have secretly been dating for the past three years. I did not know he was married at the time because he was not wearing a wedding ring. He said he was leaving his wife, but it hasn't happened. I'm three years invested, and I'm not sure if I should stay or let him go. Pastor Sharon, please help. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley. I'm so glad that you wrote in and I have an answer for you. First of all, I want to thank you for being transparent in your pain because nobody knows that they're going to fall in love with a married man. It wasn't an intentional thing. And unfortunately, he kind of bamboozled you and drew you into a place that you're having a hard time getting out of. So I want to thank you first because pain can be hard to deal with. And because you've written in and been transparent, I want to thank you first for that. Uh, but unfortunately, you're in love with someone who seemingly wants you, but does not respect you for the awesome person that you are. So I want you to take note of that because, you know, a man that's married um, and he's trying to date you is a deceiver. That's just the bottom line. And I know um, there's going to be your first instinct is to make excuses for him. And in, in your mind, it goes something like, well, his wife doesn't treat him right. She doesn't really meet his needs. She makes him feel insecure. That's why he looks for love outside the relationship. Or he's never met anybody like me that really knows his heart. Lies, Ashley, all lies. Let me explain something to you. He's married to his wife for all the reasons he's telling you that he wants to leave. She does treat him right. That's why he's still there. She does meet his needs. He's telling you we're sleeping in separate bedrooms. Not true. Because no wife is going to have her husband in her house sleeping in another room. So lies. Second of all, she does make him feel secure. That's why he married her. And so a man sometimes will tell you all these things to paint a bad picture of his home life to keep you connected. And that's what's happening. So I don't want you to, to hone into that and, and, and believe all that stuff. I want to give you some wisdom today. So he's dragging you down a dark alley that he calls love and leaving you wanting more. Hmm. He's going home to his wife every day and possibly kids if he has some. But now you're left there trying to pick up the pieces and bring yourself to an emotionally healthy place, which you're struggling with. So that's one of the first things I want you to understand. A good man will not deceive his wife and then cheat on you or anybody else. Okay. And so don't let the ring fool you. Don't let the ring fool you because a man is not faithful because of his ring. He's faithful because of his integrity. And the man that he's been dragging you down this dark alley for the last three years is not a man of integrity. And I want you to know that. And you have been giving your mind, your body, and your time to a relationship that's unstable. It's not going anywhere. Statistics, if I could say this, will show you that they never leave the wife. They just don't leave. And so you're only three years in. I know women that's been in this 10 years, 15 years, waiting for the opportunity for him to leave his wife because that's what he said he's going to do. You don't have to be victim to this. So I have a better question for you. Why don't you see yourself as awesome as you are? Why are you settling for second best? What about you that you don't like or that you don't recognize that would allow you to be in a dead end relationship? Because that's what it is. It's a dead end relationship. And you need to know that you're better than that. See, God's original design was for man to have his own wife and a wife have her own husband. He never made allowances for a third person. And you become the third person, again, not by your own choosing, but because of deception that this man brought into you. And I know, girl, he's probably fine. He's got the biceps and the triceps. He's riding good, living good. But there are some signs that you didn't catch. And I want to help you catch them. Some of the signs um, that you can only call him during certain times of the day or night. You know why? Because he's with his family. He will not let you interrupt the flow of his good life. And so you're on hold waiting for him to call 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night when his wife has gone to bed and the kids are down. Now all of a sudden you become all of that. Well, how come you can't be all of that at 9 o'clock in the morning? How come you can't be all of that at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Because he's got you on a short leash that you don't even know about. I hate this for you, Ashley, because I feel that you're a good person and you're loving hard, you know, but he doesn't love you to the extent that he needs to love you. And you're not respecting yourself to the place that you should respect yourself. Uh, what about never getting invited to his place? 
every woman would love for her boyfriend to bring her, her over and things like this and cook dinner, but that'll never happen because he's got a woman at home that's cooking for him. Hmm. Something to think about. Unresponsive, unresponsive at extended periods of time. Calling, texting, he's not answering. These are all signs that there's a married man out there. So maybe you missed these signs in the beginning, but you won't miss it next time. Now, listen, I know if you're in, in love with him and you can't leave him and things like this, you might decide to stay. But the life that you have now is the life that you'll have 10 years from now. So I would love you to back off from it and tell your heart, listen, heart, I know we're loving here. But there's someone else that's going to love me and respect me. Someone else in this world. This is a big world. So this dude can't be all of that. Okay? It's a big world. And I want you to open up your heart to love someone else. That he is not the end-all, be-all. He's not. I know it seems like that right now. You're going to cry. Call your girlfriend. Get some bonbons. Watch some Netflix and everything and cry it out. But get up in the morning and look at yourself and say, girl, you're better than that. You deserve better than that. Look at all of this. I am that and a bag of chips. You need to start speaking some positive stuff to yourself and stop waiting for him to leave a woman that he's never going to leave. Okay? I want you to not be the side dish. I want you to learn how to be the main meal. Okay? Ashley, thank you for writing in. You're awesome. I hope you take this advice and run with it because, again, you're better than that. God has greater things for you in your life, and I don't want you to settle for less than what you have. Hey, everybody in YouTube land, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button. Send your question in to askpastorsharon at gmail.com. Askpastor, S-H-A-R-O-N.com. Hey, I love you out there. And remember, whatever you do, do it with class. Be blessed. See you next time.